Hey everyone, how you doing? Welcome back. I'm Bobby LaRue. We've just talked about the fulcrum, how the fulcrum works, making sure that you know you've got the right number for when you want to dive off. all the way up, what I'm doing is actually shortening the distance to the end of the board. If you've ever tried uh, to push down on something, if you had a heavy weight, the shorter distance you have between yourself and that weight, the harder it is to push down. But if you've got a fulcrum in the middle and your distance is wider, it's a lot easier to push or bend or move that object. So when I've got the fulcrum all the way up, the board is a little stiffer. It doesn't bend as much, okay? If I move the fulcrum all the way back, I'm lengthening the distance between the end of the board and my fulcrum. That's gonna mean the board will bend farther. Now, a couple other things that you should know about. When the board bends farther, it takes longer to go up and down. If it's closer up, it takes a shorter time. 